One. Oh, what is it? Two claps? Yeah, two okay. claps on Ric Flair. Here okay, we go. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Live with Blake, man. Everybody back here. Yeah. Yes. Hello, Blakey. Hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wasn't ready for the Ric Flair, were you? I was not. At <laughs> <all>. <laughs> well, welcome. Thanks for coming in early. I don't know. Is rapper time? Do you get up early? Man, I woke up late. Extremely oh. late. <laughs> rapper time is real late. Two hours behind. Oh, two <laughs> hours behind, huh? Well, that means, it, well, you're on time then. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on time. I'm on, on time. time. I'm a little so early, actually. We, we've been obviously following you for, for a long time now, and it's exciting to be new to San Antonio and to be able to bring, you know, Texas artists on. But I don't feel like you're going to be just a Texas artist for very long. You just signed a, a great big old fat deal. I really did, a big one. <laughs> yeah. I see that big chain. Uh, yeah, you yeah, let me yeah. That? You, yeah. Can, uh, you like, can borrow it, Dana. Can I borrow it? You go He's right. like, for about five minutes, <laughs> <laughs> as long as we do this interview. <laughs> new um, chain, new watch. I, I mean, oh, yeah. uh, no, I see the watch, uh, too. Uh, I see the watch. Some rings. Yeah. Oh, a little you, advanced. Some been slight, nice. Some slight. <laughs> Somebody Big call Monty real quick. Or Atlantic <laughs> real quick. Get him on the phone. Okay, so you signed with Atlantic. How did that even happen? And then I want to kind of go back for anyone who doesn't know who you are. You're from San Antonio. Mm -hmm. How did the deal go down? Okay, well, the deal was, like, off top, like, a whole, like, six seven months process like it was a lot of going back and forth i had like every label flying me out like you know what i'm saying flying me shall name drop you gotta and, do it but interscope rca um we had a bunch of little ones um i think dev jam was interested uh right. just pretty much any label you could think of so we had one situation got a bigger offer in the middle of signing that one came back got a we had a second one got a better one and then Atlanta came with like the last minute and was just like, let's seal the deal. So. And you're like, this is it. I got to go here. Yeah, it was a bunch of like, you know, lawyers, attorneys going back and forth for a long time. So, yeah, it was like super last minute, but it all went through and I was real satisfied. How did it feel like, you know, how long have you been doing music, Blake, first of all? I've been doing music since I was like, I would say like 14, 15. Really? How old yeah, are you now? I'm Industry age. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna matter one. This interview will matter one day. I'm now I'm now twenty. Okay, so yeah. you've been six five, six years. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah. So it doesn't happen overnight. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Oh no, 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 no. I mean I would say seriously though, I've been at it like seriously, seriously for like two years. When was the uh first time you noticed the following in the fan base outside of San Antonio? Sheesh. Like I think one day me and Lil J were uh we were on the way to we were on the way to I would say New York to meet with some label and we had stopped somewhere randomly in like Charlotte, North Carolina, I think it was. And like within like a little moment of our delay of a flight or like, you know, a transition of a flight, it was just like I had like three or four people like, Is that Blake? So at that moment I was like, Okay. How did that feel? I was just like, damn. Like It's happening. Know? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn, it's real. Like, it's really happening. So, yeah. You jumped up to take pictures right away. And For sure. I was just like, it just it caught me off guard. I was like, dang. But as we got to New York, it was fans in New York. Um, You know what I'm saying? On the way back, we stopped in, I want to say, like, Atlanta. Fans in Atlanta. It was just like, I was tripping. I was like, damn, like, this is, this is real. Um, how, do you, how do you feel like coming out of San Antonio? Um, A lot of people don't know this. For anyone who doesn't know, Travis Scott went to UTSA for, for a minute. You know, he yeah. quit UTSA. Yeah. I'm not gonna say you made a bad decision, you know, to, to <laughs> pursue music full time. Yeah. How does it feel coming out of San Antonio? Do you think it's been more difficult, or do you think because nobody's been really recognized on a national level from the city, it's been better for you? Honestly, like I'm gonna keep it all the way. Like I think it's extremely difficult. Like I have every odd against me. I like I just feel like I'm out here by myself. You know what I'm saying? Pulling everything through. So it's it's been way harder. I mean, even just even when I came up to the level that I'm at. Like, just certain artists not even paying me no attention because of the fact that I'm, like, from nowhere. They're like, mm, like, you know what I'm saying? They don't know that we're the seventh largest city in the country? They don't care about that. It's just the history. It's like, you come out of Houston, you know, you have other artists that came out of Houston. You come out of Cali. You come out of New York. That's just a hot spot. That's like, why I mentioned Travis Scott in San Antonio, though, because I don't want people to dis... It, yeah, no, it's very really important to San Antonio hip-hop that people recognize that he's made a ground here. Now, I think for you... I know there's a lot of San Antonio artists who look at you and say, how did Blake make that leap? Yeah, yeah. What would you credit that leap to from just being a San Antonio, Texas artist to now Blake's a name, like you said, in North Carolina, South Carolina? Um, Consistency, going hard, staying out the way, honestly. Not being late. 
Staying out the way. <laughs> staying out the way. Staying out the way. Yeah, I mean, I have my little just, just, just staying out the way. What you lot, mean? It's a lot going on. You know, it's a lot going on out there. So I would just. Just stay out the way. So just, don't get in trouble. Yeah, don't get Grind. in trouble. Let's put it that way. Low yeah. key, do what you gotta do. Grind, stay low key, stack up, stay out the way. You know, just better just, to be in the studio than the club. Exactly. That's that's go. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, DJ Automatic. <laughs> I speak rapper. Fine, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, translation you speak rapper. for us. So how'd you grow up? Like, give me a little background. Your family. Mm, my family. I mean, we. I didn't really have a big family in San Antonio because my family comes from Beaumont, Texas. Okay. So, yeah, it was just like, it was just me, my mom, my two sisters, and my brother, you know. So, I mean, we stayed mm, north side of San Antonio, you know, came up. I went to two different high schools. We still ain't hoop yet, though. <laughs> I'm ready to get out there and hoop with you. You mentioned it was just Honestly. you, your brother? Yeah, I have a brother. And I have, I have, you have three, brothers. Three, oh, brothers, three brothers, three brothers, three brothers, four sisters. But I'm talking about as far as growing up. Okay, no, I get, I get what you saying. What about? Uh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. It, uh, it's probably Atlantic. <laughs> um, so, uh, what was it like? Was it a single mom situation? No, 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 Your dad no, was no, no, no. Dad. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Why my, you leave dad out like that. <laughs> my dad, my dad was there. My dad, my my dad was my stepdad. Like my dad, dad lived in another in Beaumont, Texas. Okay. But I had a stepdad, I had a father figure, and me and my dad had a great relationship, too. Okay, uh, so you've had two male figures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have they been supportive of the music? Or at first, was it a little, oh, come on? Nah, okay, as far as my dad. You my, said, okay, I know the story. <laughs> as far as my dad, my dad was just kind of like, hmm, about it. He thought it, <laughs> he thought it was funny. He thought it was funny for a long time. My stepdad was more the one that was like, he heard one song, he was just like, you got it. He's like, you got it. He kind of, he kind of heard and laughed at first too. But as the years came, he heard one song and he was like, okay, you got it. And then ever since then, like every steam started picking up, you know. So he, he's been behind it full throttle. He had been telling me like stuff that's happened now. He told me was gonna happen before. You know what I'm saying? Gonna come. It was gonna come. He was, he was telling me like I just, I couldn't see it like in myself. But he was just like, nah, like I'm, I'm telling you, like you know what I'm saying. And my older brother did music music previously too as well but you know i turned it up a notch oh so, yeah. <laughs> bro down hey hey little brother coming at big i'm an i'm an only child i don't know anything about that okay yeah. what what about you know some of the artists that you've gotten to meet who would you say that you got a little starstruck with you know when you first entered a room and you're like oh my god this person is in the room i don't know i feel like that's my problem because i don't even look at these dudes like that um I would say, I'd probably have to say Uzi. Really? Yeah, I would have to probably say Uzi, Lil Uzi. What is it about him that made you get a little more nervous than it's his hair? I, <laughs> <laughs> it's his blouse. I don't, I don't know, it? I don't know. Uzi, I don't know. Uzi's just, I don't know. He's just, he's just lit to me. He's just real lit, and like, I don't know. He's just Uzi. Like Uzi's just Uzi. He's just live. He's just a character. When I, the way I met him too, he was just like. You know, dancing, his song came on in the room, yeah. you know. So he, he was just a, a cool little character. Would, would you want to work with him? Is that For something sure. something you thought about? For sure. Who else are you trying to work with? Like, you know, I know a lot of people like to collaborate. Who's somebody's, like, top five list? Mm, a top five list. Top I five. would have to Any, say. Uh, anything. Anything. Anybody. My list is going to be, like, really weird. But I would have to say, for sure, um, a Drake. I would have to say Uzi. I would have to say, um, I want to get on something with, like, a Bryson Tiller. Um, yeah, I want to get on something with Khalid. Um, get one more. I'm gonna throw in one of them. Oh, give us a curveball. Give more. us a curveball. Hey Boogie. Bro. Hey. Oh, hey. Boogie. I love Boogie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to this later and be like, no way. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe every artist who's asked that question goes back yeah. and says, "You can come in later if you think of somebody later in the middle of the interview." <laughs> You can jump in later. I so I saw the uh, Diddy co-sign. Oh yeah, tell us about that. How did that all come? Kind about? of a big deal. You don't yeah, get kind of just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know <laughs> how that. I I know that I had heard something about Diddy whenever uh, I had dropped the song called Find a Way. It was like his like demographic style of music. It's kind of like a. Oh, love, people? love R and B kind of. His demographic. No, it sounds like uh, it sounds like uh, that one song he used to have coming home. 
Okay, that that's, yeah yeah yeah, it's, song, it's that okay, type of Blake has a song that sounds similar. That. Now that you that, said that, yeah, I know what it's you're that type about. of yeah. style for sure. That's yeah, mm-hmm. that's the best way to describe it. But yeah, I heard something about that then. But I seen that he had a uh, he tweeted the the video, this recent video that I dropped. So that was dope. I was like, wow. Whenever you do this in advance, you gotta say it's classic. <laughs> that way you don't fit anybody. You say it's classic. <laughs> yeah, it's got the classic yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah. Does that you know? Does that make you nervous to see somebody like a Diddy? I mean. The guy's almost a billionaire. I mean, he literally started his story similar to yours from the you know started from the bottom. Now he's at the ultimate top. It doesn't make you a little nervous when somebody like that starts. Nah, to- I'm not even gonna lie to you. It all it all kind of makes me nervous. But like I don't, <laughs> I kind of perform under pressure. I don't I don't fold under pressure. You know, so it's it's cool. It's just it's I'm not gonna say nervous. I'm not nervous about it. It's just kind of surreal. You know, so it's just kind of like this is really happening. Like. You know, so yeah. Do you have a girlfriend or anything? I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. Why are you red? You're physically red. You're the color of that dolphin on your shirt. I'm, I'm chilling. Oh my god, you and the dolphin. I'm chilling. Dana with the such and such. I'm just like, no, I want to know. Dana loves to get into the person. Here we go. Drama. Do you have a girlfriend? Are you talking to someone? I'm chilling. No girlfriend. I got. I you on your own, bro. I got a crazy situation going on. Let's just say that. Do tell. Do tell. (laughs) It's too crazy to get into. We can. We can to make the man red. Uh, (laughs) This sounds like a my girl got a girlfriend situation. I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. It could be anything. (laughs) Was she going with you? I don't know about all that. I don't know. Could be. It's just. It's just crazy. Craziness. I said so maybe. Um, so okay, let's move on to what about let's say she is. What kind of girl are you like into? What what is the okay? Yeah, we could, we could get into that. We could we could for sure get into that. Okay. okay, like I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it all the way one thousand too, just to make this a little bit more juicy. One thousand, so, thousand. Let's go. I feel like the type of girls that I attract, I the type of girls I'm attracted to, I don't attract. Oh, that's what I feel like. What are the type of girls you're attracted to? Okay, now the music might give you one type of <laughs> <laughs> one type of perception. You know what I'm saying? And the, the lit, wild side, yeah, everybody's on that. Right. But realistically, the girl that I talk to is a baddie that goes to college that does not talk to nobody. That works, has a, a legit job. She don't work at the club. She don't work That's at a legit job. Why are you in the club? Well, no, but I, oh, I'm not saying it's not. I'm describing unicorns. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's not a real job. I'm just saying a. He likes to be a wholesome female. I think you want a partner. You Someone partner. that's not out there like that. Let's put it that way. Someone that's not like on the scene, like and those type of girls, I do not attract. They look at me. They're like, bro, you're trouble. You know what I mean? But why is that? Are you trouble? I mean, it's the music. It's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in person, I could like finesse my way. You know what I'm Be saying? Be careful, but, like, you don't calming yourself out. You know, common's <laughs> a good guy, makes great music. <laughs> <laughs> he asks everybody to marry him, and everybody says no. Yeah. He, you know, he's a good guy in hip hop. Mm. That's not always, you know, you know what I mean. He's finally got him a good girl, common, but what? He's like 40 now. <laughs> he's been trying to settle down for 10 years. All right, so you got a new new song. Why don't you tell everybody about the new joint you're working? Um, I mean, you popped off. You've been popping off, you know, on the net for a minute. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the new song. The new song is just like I didn't even. I everybody around me kind of made it what it was. Uh, we were in L.A. recording one of the songs on the project. It was a beat that I had kind of heard, and I was like, "Hmm, let me play with it." We were getting ready to leave, and uh. I got in the I t- the dude I told him to just play the beat but he ended up like pulling it up in a session and um I had jumped in the booth and I had kind of like played around with it. I was like, "Let me let me give it a test run." We were in there just chilling. I gave it a test run and the test run ended up being the chorus. So, that wow. that's that yeah, that's the chorus on the song and then I left back to San Antonio um and I just kept running that chorus. I'm like, I was like, "It's probably, it's kind of good." Like before I get on any song, I play with it. I just say any, you know, yeah. kind of that dab- dibbling dab. But uh, I kind of heard it. And Lil J, my manager, he was just like, "Bro, they go dumb hard." My A and R was sleep. We were in there so late, so I just went off of that and, and turned it came out being together. came pretty came pretty good. We went to L A, shot the video. Video was like four or five days long. Um, it just turned out pretty. And now we here. 
Pretty dope. Well, yeah. I just wanted to say, you know, we have been watching you. It's exciting to be a part of this, being new to the city, to be a part of something I think that's taken Texas to a different place. You know, you know, we're trying really hard to do that. And to see you from this city makes us proud. And that's why you're here. Yeah. You know, you make us really Appreciate proud. Appreciate you. Thank you. Um, and you could do anything from anywhere. I remember Wiz said that one. I, we were interviewing Wiz, and he's like, you don't got to be in L.A. and New York anymore. With the internet, you can do whatever you want. Wherever you are, you can make it pop off, and you're proof of that. To, to, to a certain extent, Well, I mean, yeah. to go make music, you yeah, know, you make it work. Yeah, yeah. Get it. To, to a certain extent, But you can extent, pop yeah. off in your own city now. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah. If Anywhere. I feel like anywhere. anywhere. If, if As long as you, you get the right kind of spark real quick, it's, yeah. I just feel like my situation is, like, really weird. But, yeah. Kind of like the girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that. You want to intro your song for us? I'm about to play it right now. Mm. It's Lil Blake, the goat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a new single named Such and Such. Let's get to it. Yeah. Blake, y'all.